Hey dads, are y'all looking for the best electric blanket? I've used a couple and I found one that my wife got me as a gift and I really like it. We're gonna talk about that in a minute, but first, hi to all the new dads here. This channel is all about bringing you unedited, more authentic reviews of the products that I like being a dad, and so I figured I'd share that with you guys. So if you like that, consider subscribing. Uh, but today I wanna talk to you guys about this let me stand up for this because it's kind of big. This electric blanket here, right here. I like the pattern on it, and I like how it's all wool on the inside here. It's very comfortable. And then it comes with this that plugs into it to give it, ah, let me move that over. Gives it electricity. So um, this is your plug that it plugs into the wall. Then it runs the length of the long cord, which is nice in case your socket's far away from your bed, or if you travel with it, you know, you never know how long of a cord you're gonna need. And then uh, close up to the, uh, what do you call this thing? The controller here is the plugger for the blanket. And the way it works is on the bottom of the blanket, they have a port here, and you simply plug that into there, and then you can plug your long cord into the wall. Let me do that real quick so I can show y'all how the controller works. Once you have that in, here's your controller. A little red light comes on so you know that it's working. You press this button here to turn it on, and then it gives you this heat meter here. Oh, by the way, this is a Biddleford Blankets. I'll link them up down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Um, but you have your uh, up and down here, so how hot you want it to get and it goes up to six, and you can go all the way down to one, or if you just wanna turn it off, you just press that button again. So it's super easy to use. One thing I would like if it would be if it had like some kind of thermometer on it so you knew how hot the blanket would actually be. That'd just be a nice little feature, but honestly, not necessary. You'll kinda of judge uh, based on the weather of how cold or hot you want your blanket to be, so. Uh, like I said, it's it's super comfortable. Um, let's see, to give you an idea for size, this is touching the ground. It's, it's probably about five feet in length there, and probably I'd say three feet, just judging from my the length of my body. I don't have a tape measure on me right now. Um, very, very warm blanket once you get it going. I usually put this on top of a sheet whenever I'm uh, sleeping at night during the cold months. And uh, it's just a really fantastic blanket. Now, the only thing that I kind of don't like about it is where the port is situated. Now, this is not a deal breaker by any means because I would really like the port to be more on the edge, on the corner of the blanket. And the reason for that is because whenever you're sleeping and you have your legs, y'all, you know, come on down. You have your legs sticking up through here. You have this cord in between your legs here, and if it was over to the side, it would just be hanging off the side of the bed. Now it could be good, it could be good in the middle for balance, because if you have it hanging off the side of the bed, then it might pull throughout the night, you know, gravity, and, uh, and it'll cause the blanket to fall off of you. So I can understand, you know, why it's in the middle, but, um, it's just kind of a pain in the butt that it's always like in between your legs because it's not long enough to like hang over the bed. If it had like two more feet on it and it hung over the bed and your feet were underneath it all the time, then you wouldn't have this port problem. So, uh, but all in all, like I said, my wife got this for me as a gift. I really like it. If you guys want to check it out, down in the description below, I'm gonna link it up. I've never had any problems with it. No fire hazards, no uh, things exploding or burning or anything like that. So I can recommend it. I've had it for two years now, I believe. And uh, it's been a fantastic blanket. So like I said, link down in the description below. If somebody else has left a review on Amazon, you can go read some of those. You can go check price over there. That's usually where I link up my stuff. Uh, if you want more of these unedited, more authentic reviews, uh, click that subscribe button and there's two more videos right there on the screen. I would love it if you watch some more videos if there's something that interests you. Thank you guys for watching. If there's something that you want us to review, let me know down in the comments below what it is and dad out.